News update. For InfoLife TV, this is David Omen. In a new international poll of 37 populations around the world, Palestinians rank first in their support for an Iran armed with nuclear weapons, with 58% in favor, making them the only nation in the Middle East not opposed to Iranian nuclear weapons. As for opinions on the U.S., Israel and the Palestinians were diametrically opposed. At least five IDF soldiers were wounded early Thursday, including three moderately and one seriously, in gun battles with Palestinian gunmen during an arrest raid in the West Bank city of Nablus. A large contingent of troops entered the Nablus Kaspa and a nearby refugee camp early Thursday morning, searching for weapons, explosives and wanted militants. In an interview published Thursday, outgoing British Prime Minister Tony Blair said he would begin his new position as the Quartet Special Middle East Envoy immediately and would probably even travel to the region as early as next month. Lebanese army troops killed at least five Islamic gunmen from the Fatah al-Islam group during clashes in the northern Lebanon town on Thursday, south of the northern port city of Tripoli. Three of the militants killed were Saudi nationals. In a meeting with NATO Deputy Secretary General Alessandro Minuto Rizzo in Brussels, Minister for Strategic Affairs Avigdor Lieberman discussed deploying NATO forces in the Gaza Strip in order to prevent arms smuggling into Gaza and maintain order. The two also discussed issues of intelligence cooperation and the Iranian nuclear threat. A poll conducted by the Israeli daily Yediota Honot found that among Israel Air Force pilots and navigators, only 45% plan on staying in the service in the coming years. The Air Force has begun to formulate a plan to deal with the problem of the brain drain, pilots leaving the service for better paid positions in the commercial sector. The number of multimillionaires and billionaires in Israel grew by 15% in 2006, according to a Merrill Lynch report on the wealthiest people in Israel. Leading the list are the Wertheimer family, Bank of Polim owner Sherry Erison, and billionaire Lev Levayev. Fatah's strong Ben Muhammad Dahlan used sexual blackmail and bribes to recruit Hamas members as informants. Join us on InfoLive for the great debate. Should Palestinian prisoners with blood on their hands be released in exchange for abducted Israeli soldiers? Commanding circuses lamenting in protest The visible police presence wants their fear Battalions of riot police with rubber bullet kisses Baton courtesy service with a smile Beyond the staple center you can see America With its dire for avenging disgrace Peace for loving youth against the brutality A plastic existence Pushing on our children With their folly and dramatics They like to push the weak around Today, the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access infolive.tv.